What's up guys? This is Bullvar the Fell Handed and this is how to get better at World of Tanks. Something I think we all could do in some way, shape, or form. This is going to be a guide on what you need to do in order to get better at this game. And the first thing I believe is tracking your stats, finding out where you stand. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And there's a few websites I'm going to let you know that can really help you out. First and foremost, whatinfo.net, extremely important. You go here, you can go to search, you select Xbox, you type in your gamertag or PS4 or, you know, what server on PC, what have you, whatever. <laughs> You punch it in, you search your name, and it will come up. And of course, you can search anyone's information this way, not just your own. And you know, once you pull this up, you can kind of see where you are, you know, look at where you would like to be, you know, what you need to run to get there, so on and so forth. That way you can kind of set goals for yourself because you're never going to get better unless you start tracking your stats, you know. I would even go so far as to say like on a daily basis. This initial page right here is going to bring up all important kind of information, your efficiency, your win 7, that's kind of outdated, and your win 8. Now keep in mind these stats right here in the bottom are your overall stats. They're not your monthly, they're not your weekly, they are your overall. As we know depending on how many games you have, your overall is going to be quite tough to get up compared to everything else you know on a monthly weekly basis what have you so moving on there's a lot of good information here you can go to your efficiency which is your daily efficiency this is what you're running on the day to day you can pull up what tank um, you know everything you can pull up the individual history for you know given tank on a given day you can even pull up you know how you ran overall a lot of good information here as far as you know your tank metrics and you need to kind of know what you're doing in a given tank and you know it'll kind of let you know if you're doing poorly and you thought you were doing well or you're doing well and you thought you were thought you were doing poorly so you know it's really good to know what you're doing and it, and it you know calculates your damage your average damage so on and so forth this however Win 8 does not track assisted damage, so please be aware of that as it is not going to show up in this particular metric. Hopefully Win 9 will sort that out whenever it comes out. Now, if we click on the tab right there, it will show you exactly what you've done on this day with not necessarily the given tank, but all your tanks throughout the, the day. And it will kind of pull them all together. And, you know, I believe this is the key in order to get better. You kind of have to take a look at this and you have to say, okay, well, you know, I'm running this. I'd like to be running this. And at least it kind of, you know, puts an idea in your head. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not doing so hot today or, hey, I'm doing better, you know. So it just kind of lets you know by tracking your statistics where you are at, you know, on the totem pole of skill, so to speak. So moving on, here we uh, here we go. We have recent. Uh, this is going to have your monthly and your weekly stats. It, you know, it's going to have your efficiency, win seven, win eight, um, a lot of other valuable information such as your win rate. And win rate is is important, but it kind of depends if you're solo play versus if you're platoon play. Obviously. If you have a number of guys in a platoon, they can carry more, so on and so forth. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. I'm going to go ahead and zoom over here to a nifty little uh, treat, which is the camo value area. You can take a few tanks. You can put them in given circumstances. You can change the crew, what have you, and kind of judge what the camo is going to be effective on the battlefield very interesting stuff so if you know you ever get spotted in a given area well go to the replay say okay what was the t49 spotted me how far you weigh and you know you can kind of calculate it up that way very interesting stuff interesting stuff so make sure to check out the camo calculator very interesting
Okay, guys, let's keep it moving. This is console.worldoftanks.com. Very useful site. This is the main site you want to go to. Aside from what info, that's a personal preference. This is going to have your DCR, which is damage, cost, receive, your win rate, your survival rate, your KD, which is your kill-death ratio. It's going to you know, have a lot of personal information here if you choose to log in. You can look up stats, anyone's stats, without logging in. It's also going to have another important little jewel there on the left is your personal rating. Uh, this rating is not your where you are ranked in the world of World of Tanks, but it is going to be important in finding that out later. A little bit in that, a little bit on that in a minute. Moving on, there's a lot of tanks. You know, you could pull up every tank, every medal you've gotten. You know ace tanker you could pull up everything there's so much information you can pull up on this website it's very very important um, you know to track to just see where you're at and you know when you know how you would like to improve so it's important that you know players need to know about this type of thing so we're going to go and see if we can find little old me Okay, guys, so in the bottom left hand corner, we have little old me 5,243. Now, that is my ranking. It's different from personal rating, they're connected kind of. You want your ranking to be low, which means you're closer to the top, and you want your personal rating to be high, which, you know, that's kind of the, <laughs> the separation of those two. Now, what you can do to kind of get a, a better idea where you're at as far as in the game amongst everyone else is you take the number that is your rank your rank not your personal rating 5243 in this case and you divide it by the number of players in the game which last i looked was a little under two and a half million hoorah for wargaming and then what you'll do is you will come up with a number you will multiply that number by 100 this is kind of how we do percent this is the basis of it and then you will say okay well all right fantastic i'm the top whatever percent players so that's a good thing in that way you can kind of get a better handle on where you are at as far as you know the percentage of players you see what i'm saying so yeah we're the top two percent point two percent of players and it sounds more amazing than it is but you know everybody has bad games let me go ahead and say that you guys have seen spartan and i everybody has game bad games so it's not necessarily going to make you infallible obviously so just keep that in mind that is something neat you can do to kind of find out where you're at uh, this website also has an amazing tankopedia i highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already moving on i love this next website vbaddict.net if you need to know what equipment to run on a tank you punch it in vbaddict.net and you follow it to the letter if you want to win and that is the bottom line everybody who knows the inside and outsides of this game goes to vb attic to look up what they need to run it's going to give you two numbers the one in purple is going to be what the unis and super unis run and the one in not purple is going to be what everybody else runs percentage wise i highly recommend this that you go with what the unis recommend because they are good at this game they have that experience and this way you can kind of use their knowledge and move on now they also have one for skills however i disagree with skills i believe skills are tank based and i also believe they are individual based on you know the operator if you you know like to get up in the grind with a t62a well you know i'm thinking repair and track mechanic because you're going to be tracked a lot but if you like to fire from long range well you know i would recommend silent moving and uh you know muffled shot so it it differs i'm kind of a biggest bang for the buck kind of guy i would much rather choose say for example off-road driving and clutch braking versus snapshot and smooth ride because you're going to be driving way more than you're going to be shooting so <laughs> biggest bang for your buck that's kind of where i'm at but you know what 
I'm not here to discuss <laughs> crew skills specifically. Moving on. DamageStandings.com. This is one of those websites you can punch in and you can kind of see what you've got to do to get a mark on a tank. Now, granted, this website is good. However, there's a better one out there. It's, it's on the clans website. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But, you know, I'm not covering all the websites, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. But I am going to cover quite a few of them. So, this is one of them I just decided to keep in there to check out, you know, so you can get in here and you can kind of see what's going on. This has a nifty feature, which I enjoy, which you can punch in. It kind of has a, ca a calculator. You can punch in, you know what damage you do on average in a game, how many games, so on and so forth. And it kind of gives you a solution on, hey, it's going to take you 16,000 games to get this tank marked or whatever. Not necessarily 16,000, but you catch my drift. It does have a calculator, so keep that in mind. Also, guys, there's something I did not mention in here. Go to YouTube. Obviously, you found me, so, you know, there's that. But YouTube is a good, good source. Now, granted, if you do watch the PC guys, there's a little something lost in translation because normally they have a lot of mods running. So that's a little bit different. I once watched a bat chat clip out a Patton and he was looking 180 degrees at someone else pushing on him. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway... Uh, yes, I would recommend your console, uh, PS4, Xbox, what have you. That's kind of the YouTubers I would go for if you're on Xbox and PS4. Moving on, whatclans.br.net. This is where we all go to look at the clan standing. So, you know, this not only has your clans in here, and a lot of people may know that, not know this, sadly, but it also has an important thing on your damage standing. It's got a lot of good information on, uh, you know, tanks, you know, what you have to do to get the marks on the tanks. It just has a lot of information. It's going to have different levels of win 8 here. It's going to have your overall win 8. It's going to have your monthly. It's going to have your 7 day, your top 7 guys, excuse me. It's going to have a variety of things. So once you really dig in here uh it's there's just a ton of stuff and there is a gentleman from selva who runs this website big ups to him because you know we all use it and i would totally not want to make slash maintain this thing so big ups to the gentleman from selva i think his name is jp negri or something like that anyway man big ups to you now, here's the Mark of Excellent area. Marks of Excellence area I was talking about. You can kind of go through here. You can pick your tank. And this, I think, is a lot tighter than the previous website I showed you, where it kind of seemed a little shoot from the hippie to me. Shoot from the hippish. How about that? Shoot from the hippish for me versus this one that seems, you know, like it is actually tracking data versus the other ones like hey yeah you need to do some damage to get a mark so it, it seems a little tighter so you know i would go with this one and then go with the other one and, and kind of check and see how different they're pulling um, the other one may you know strictly be for pc or it may be for both some of the pc stuff doesn't transfer very well uh, and that's just the nature of the beast there's not a whole whole lot of websites out here specifically designed for console but, you know, we're starting to get a footing after being here for four years. So, you know, good for us. So, yeah, right here you can kind of see <clears throat> what's going on, what kind of marks you need, what kind of damage you need to pull. Uh, and that's, you know, more or less combined, uh, you know, your total damage, which is something you always want to go for, is, is definitely you want to pull some good assist to get those marks. Tanks.gg. This is another really good website. Now, a lot of this stuff in here is PC because, as you're going to see right there, they have the Badger, which is something we do not have on console. It is in the British line, if you're curious, and it is pretty nasty from what I've heard. 
But for the most part, you can find a lot of interesting information here on tanks. Like I said, you know, take take this with a grain of salt because this is for PC. So a lot of times, you know, it's not going to translate over. Uh, there's another website I'm going to bring up here in a moment that is is very good for both sides of the fence. I haven't really found any errors with it thus far. Uh, you know, if I start to find errors, uh, you know, going from one console to, to the PC, what have you, then I, or, or excuse me, just website to website, then I kind of start to lose faith. Haven't lost faith in this bad boy yet. This is wikia.wargaming.net. And this is just a really, really awesome website. You can get a lot of useful information on this thing. It's got, you know, forward speed, backward speed, gun depression. I mean, it's everything. Uh, it, everything you could possibly want. It's got possible equipment, you know, historical photos. Um, it's got your battle tiers. Just a variety of stuff here. And it's all very, very useful information. If you need to pull something up rather quick this is the way to go so you know just tons and tons of useful information and you know you can just go through here and scope through here and just check some stuff out a lot of you know armor now granted of course this isn't going to be the next website super detailed this is going to have the major details but it's not going to go in depth as far as your armor goes that's going to be another website here very shortly but this does definitely have a lot of information it is not completely foolproof but you know there's tons and tons of stuff in here you should just kind of check this out you know speed and as you can see here it is a pc because it, it does have some you know the cost of your your different equipment on the tank and so on and so forth such as your radio and your tracks and stuff like that sometimes it'll have costs so it is PC but I find that it is still fairly accurate to the console version because you know there's not really a lot of discrepancies in this versus the other now granted they do have you know extra special stuff for some reason maybe that's the thing on PC I don't know I haven't heard about it but in it, and it's going to have your pros and cons from just normal everyday tankers. So a lot of information here. Make sure to check this out. You know, before you're buying a tank, in addition to watching some videos, maybe pull it up on wikia.wargaming.net and look around and say, okay, well, you know, the pros are this, the cons are this, da, da, da. And, you know, you can kind of get that decision a little bit easier because you know the old adage is you know what do i get the 140 the t62 well you look at this maybe it can kind of help you out and that is going to be good for pretty much anything it's going to have historical f footage excuse me it's going to have gallery just so much information on this bar none i would say this is the most informative about a given tank wattguru.com this is the site that is going to tell you about your armor it's going to give you you know your slope first of all a lot of times you know it's going to say okay well your armor on the front's 100 that does not explain anything to me you know okay well your upper plate is 120 and your lower plate is 75 but the upper plate sloped at 60 degrees and thus you know it brings it up to 240 and da 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 so this is what Waguru does it gets you in there as you can see I mean so many details it's going to give you your armor plate thickness it's going to give you the slope it's going to give you the effective armor this is an extremely extremely useful website if you are having problems pinning a given tank look at this website if you own a given tank and you're getting pinned look at this website you will get it figured out you know the the turret on the e100 is 250 it's sloped at so and so degrees that brings it up to 279 effective thickness you know your lower plate it's got everything 
This is one of the resources I utilize when I make my weak spot guides. So if I use it, it's obviously pretty darn good. So I highly recommend you to check it out. If you are interested in penetrating some of these great beastly tanks out there, you know, you have problems with the moss. Come here and look this up. There's another website I'm about to bring out in a moment that is just 100% amazing, and I highly recommend everybody get it. This is probably one of my favorites and my most used website slash um, applications. This website coming up is also a phone application uh, called Armor Inspector. Online, which is a new feature, it is called WattInspector.com. You can pull up any tank in the game. You can make it a target, and you can pull up any tank in the game and make it a shooter. You can, you can take it out to a certain amount of meters. You can turn it at a certain angle. You can turn the turret. You can rotate it. You can load different ammunition. You can look up modules. This is the primary thing I use when I am doing my weak spot guides. I don't know if there's a way you can switch from PC to Xbox or excuse me console or perhaps it just says Armor Inspector PC because they've never actually had a, a website before. I don't know. I'd be interested to find out. At any rate, this is definitely a, a phone application. I highly recommend you download it. You can look up any tank. You can look up the penetration. It will give you the angle the whole nine every piece of information you'd like to know about this tank modules included it will let you know and this is more or less exactly what the weak spot guides are it is essentially me verbalizing and visual visualizing this before you and you know some tanks are going to be darn near bulletproof minus you know if you you start loading premium that's a whole different ball game but for the most part they all have weak spots. That's what they have in common. Something always has weak spots. You can click on an area. It will tell you your chances of pinning. And, and that's it. It'll even, do your, it'll even simulate your given aim time. As you can see there, we clicked on it. It looked like to me it took you know 2.9 seconds to aim in. And it's perfect. This website, it is amazing. I have used this thing for a number of years and I have always been very very happy with it for you heavy tank operators out there it'll show you the exact perfect angle perfect angle you need to get in order to bounce some good rounds and you know you just can learn so much from this just by looking at it so just keep that in mind you know, for the guys out there who need to get rid of these tanks, need to get them off the map, and for the operators out there who want to stay on the map, <laughs> this is extremely important. And it has a number of premium tanks in there. You know, don't not expect it to have your tank in there, as it has nearly everything in there. So just keep that in mind. It has modules. And there's, you know, you can really go into detail on these modules. You can even figure out how many times you're going to have to hit something in order to connect with a module with a given gun. Here we have a side view, and you can click on to the left there. It'll tell you exactly what module you're clicking on. So extremely useful. I kind of want to save this for last, even though it really should have been first. This is by far the best the best one out of them all I would say right under what info because you know you can with these two you could really go far once you start quantifying and tracking your metrics and then with this you could figure out where to shoot people that is all you would need but you know yes this is an extremely important website you need to utilize this if you bounce a round you need to pull this up and say okay why did I bounce around? Okay, I hit here. Fine. Granted, if you were aiming at a given location and your round dispersed, okay, charge that to the game. But if you know you were specifically aiming and you hit hit in a given location and you bounced, look it up. 
Now, granted, of course, sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do. You get a low pin roll, but what have you. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed how to get better at World of Tanks. I've been meaning to make a video like this for a long time. Also, I should mention, I have a ton of codes that I'm going to start giving out uh, here and there. So make sure to check out for that. I do plan on doing the interview with the tanker as well as a Q&A. That's coming shortly. We'll see you guys next time.